All right, we're keeping a close eye on it because at any moment, the nearly 200 names on the Jeffrey Epstein list could be released. There's reports uh, it's going to happen in the next couple of hours. Epstein, uh, you remember, killed himself in prison in 2019 before his trial, but his former girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, remained loyal to him. She refused to cooperate with prosecutors and was ultimately convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison for sex trafficking minor girls uh, to Epstein. But will this list finally get her to speak out on her time with Epstein and others in Involved. Remember, she's always been uh, been quiet. Her, her lawyer here is laughing and shaking his head. We're going to get to him in a second. Will she finally turn on her former lover? Uh, let's ask Elaine Maxwell's lawyer, uh, Arthur uh, Idella. Uh, thanks for being with with us, Arthur. So, I mean, you just told me you, you talked to Elaine almost every week. You know, is, is she going to start talking? No, 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 no. Well, she's got. I don't think she has anything to talk about except maybe that if you look at this crime, this overall crime, it's all about men abusing women. For a long period of time, a lot of men, that's what we're waiting for this list. And there's only one person in jail, a woman. It's not one guy behind bars for all of these the yeah, crimes, this brought, sex track thing. She brought thing. him the women, the, well, the, the girl. I should well, say women, girl, young all, girls, right? First of all, she is absolutely unequivocally denying all of that. She always has. And what's interesting is the woman with it was this lawsuit surrounding, this list is coming out, who you just heard Professor Dershowitz speaking about, Virginia Giuffre. She didn't testify at the trial. She didn't testify in the trial, the criminal trial, uh, against Ghislaine Maxwell. So, um, no, Ms. Maxwell's got nothing to say to anyone. She's had ample opportunity. She's been in prison for quite some time now. It's not a pleasant place to be. She's had ample time to come out and speak, but she's got nothing to speak why is of. She, it just seems like she's so loyal to him. Like, why not I don't think she's naming names? I don't think she's loyal to him. I think she's loyal to herself. I think she's loyal to the facts. I think she's loyal to the truth. And look, I was a prosecutor. I was a criminal. I am a criminal defense attorney. A lot of these cases take on lives of their of their their own, and people start believing things that aren't true. Regarding this list, I could see people running amok because there are going to be names there that are just witnesses. Like, oh, that person may have been in this place at that time. Or like with President Clinton, they're saying, yeah, he flew to Paris with Jeffrey Epstein. That doesn't mean he did anything wrong. As you heard Dershowitz said in the videos you showed, you know, Epstein ran in, in the wildest of circles from the president of the United States to the president of Harvard University. That's why I feel and, like she knows everything. I mean, you know. Well, but they're, they're, listen, there may not be as much to know as everyone thinks it is. It may, it, it, this case may not have been what everybody thinks it really was. Um, she is, her appeal is going to be argued sometime in the late uh, winter, early spring, what my firm will be arguing it. And, um, you know, she has a really great shot at, at an appeal. Part of which you, you mentioned in the last segment with the prosecutor, you know, there was a, a document that Jeffrey Epstein signed when he took that plea saying neither him nor anyone around him could be prosecuted for these crimes. And basically, the United States of America said, now we're going to rip up that agreement and we're going to still go after Helene Maxwell only after Jeffrey Epstein was dead. And they, were, they couldn't go after him anymore, but there was so much hype around this. They had to go after someone and they went after the only woman in the case. Do you think Epstein really killed himself? That's a great question. Um, I don't know Jeffrey that well. I happen to see, I mean, I don't know him at all, I should say. I happen to see him two days before he died in, the, in, the, in prison. Um, you went to see him? I didn't see him. I was, see, I was visiting another inmate okay. who was right next to him, another detainee, who was literally right next to him. And he was there, he looked fine. Um, I think when he heard that he was denied bail for the second time, and I think the reality of he wasn't going anywhere was setting in. He had already been in jail before. This was a man who lived, lived a hedonistic lifestyle by all accounts. To go from eating dinner at the White House yeah. to eating dinner at the MDC, the MCC, uh, where dinner's not but, too but pretty. But Ghislaine has said she thinks he was murdered, right? Um, I, well, I can't really talk about what, you know, what she's told me. I, I know, I believe she's publicly made some statements about that. She but, said it, yeah, she said it publicly, yeah. Yeah, obviously what, what, what we, what my firm speaks to Ghislaine about is really the issues on her appeal because she did not get a fair trial. Anytime you, you know, I also represent Harvey Weinstein. And we're going to argue his appeal on Valentine's Day. When you have these cases where there's so much media attention, where News I mean, Nation, you've got a lot of news, people, right, yeah, where yeah. News Nation is spending the whole segment of the, of this show talking about this particular case, the pressure on the judges, on the jurors, on the prosecutors to get some sort of result is just enormous. Look at uh, uh, Cosby, yeah. right? I mean, they did everything they could to 
put him in prison, and then, thank God, an appeals court said, no, 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 you is, can't do this. And we're hoping both in Weinstein's case, in Harvey's case, and, and in Ghislaine's case, the appeals courts are going to I mean, Weinstein, we got to save for another day. There's well, a lot to talk about know, there. My office is and only said up the you block, just talked so, to him, you know, so I, we're going to have to have you back. But with, does, does Ghislaine think she's in danger? Does she ever express that? Uh, no. no. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.